Morning, everybody. Sorry, I know I'm a few minutes late. I was having some um, technical difficulties with our camera, but here we are, ready to go. Uh, a couple things about today's class. I am nursing a knee injury, so you're going to see me modify a lot on this right side, but um, you can take the modifications or um, just listen to the cues, and I will cue you through everything. Um, uh, also, you know, lots of plank variations and whatnot today. So again, I highly encourage um, modifications. You take what you need. I just make the, the suggestions, but this is your practice. And if this is your time for your family to think that you are taking yoga and you need to lay on the mat for some peace and quiet, by all means, have at it. So um, let's uh, go ahead and get started. I'm gonna have you get started in your child's pose today. So you are going to bring your toes together and your knees are going to open up nice and wide. Go ahead and sit your heels back over your, or sit your hips back over your heels and reach your arms forward and release your head to the mat or to a block. And just take a moment to settle in and to close your eyes. Maybe find some awareness in your body. Check in with the places that are tight, that you need to breathe into during your practice, that might need to open up. Take a moment to check in with your breath. Start to lengthen your inhales and exhales. Finding that ujjayi breath that will carry you through your practice. Inhaling deeply through the nose, down into the belly, filling it up, and then exhaling in the opposite direction. Reminding yourself that it is this breath that will carry you through your practice, regardless of what pose you're in, as long as you're still breathing, you're still doing yoga. And then finally, bringing your awareness to the mat, letting go of all your outside thoughts and distractions, being present, letting go of the to-do list, the chores, the distractions, the emails. You have one hour to yourself to focus and to breathe. So on that note, really start to lengthen the inhales and exhales. We'll take a few rounds of breath to bring our energy together. So with your next exhale, release all of the air from your body. And start to inhale slowly for two, three, four, five. Pause at the top, and then exhale just as slowly for two, three, four, five. Take another deep breath in. Start to feel your ribs expand. Two, three, four, five. With your exhale, allow them to contract. Two, three, four, Five. Your next breath in, draw the air all the way into your belly, fill it up like a balloon. Three, four, five. And with your breath out, allow that balloon to deflate and press the air back up and out through your nose. Three, four, five. Once again, inhale, fill up. Two, three, four, five. Exhale, start to let go. Two, Three, four, five. One more round together. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, clear your mind. Two, three, four, five. Stay here for just a moment. Focusing on your breath. Maybe setting an intention for your practice. As you create energy in your flow, is there a place in your life, an area of your life, maybe it's somebody else that needs some good positive energy directed towards them? You know, when we, since we've opened, you guys have shown up here for us on the mat day in and day out, regardless of what you're going through and you've supported us, you've given us 
so much excellent energy that through this, through these live classes and the YouTube channel, we're just hoping to share some of that energy back with you. So we'll take one more breath here. And then after this last exhale, come up into your modified plank with your knees down and lifting through your feet. So remember, in your modified plank, you're on a diagonal line from your knees up through the crown of your head. Draw the belly in. Press away from the mat. Keep your shoulders over your wrists. Inhale here. And then with your exhale, lower all the way onto the ground, releasing your legs. Slide the hands to the small of the waist. Inhale, float up for your baby cobra, squeezing the shoulder blades and the elbows together. And then exhale, come back to your child's pose again. We're not going to stay this time, we're going to move through it, start to wake the body up. Inhale, lift up again, modified plank, squeeze the low belly in, tuck the tailbone. Exhale, lower all the way onto the mat. Breathe in, lift the heart, baby cobra, squeeze the glutes, protect that low back. Breathe out, shift back, child's pose. One more time, inhale, roll forward, lengthen the spine. Exhale, lower down. Breathe in, lift the chest for baby cobra. Breathe out, take the tailbone back, child's pose. Stay here for a breath, maybe walk your fingertips over to the right. Opening up through the left side body. Then walking your fingers over to the left. And coming back to center, pressing the fingertips into the mat, tenting the palms up, waking the shoulders up a bit. Then release them down to the mat and come up into your tabletop. So difference between tabletop and modified plank. Modified plank, you're in that diagonal. Tabletop, you look like a square. Shoulders are over your wrists again. Hips are over your knees this time. Feet are flat or toes are curled under your choice. Spine is nice and long. And then with your inhale, release the belly towards the mat, flip the tailbone up, open up through the chest, look up. Exhale, squeeze your belly to roll close, tucking the chin and the tailbone, arching the back. Inhale, drop the belly, roll open, look up. Exhale, squeeze the belly, roll close. The more you squeeze your belly, the more you can tuck. You're starting to wake the core up here. Inhale, roll open. Exhale, roll close. Find your own pace, your own movement. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. One more time. Inhale, open. And exhale, close. From here, returning to that tabletop. This time, pressing the right heel back. Heels at hip height. Toes are flexed to the mat. Hips, knees, toes, everything square to the ground. Belly button draws in as you inhale. Exhale, if you'd like to reach that left arm forward. Starting to focus on our balance right here, your thumb is to the ceiling, the arm and leg are parallel to the mat. Inhale, draw on the belly button. Exhale, you're reaching from the midsection through the fingertips, through the heel. One more breath in and one more breath out. Keep the right leg lifted where it's at. Release the left hand to the mat. Take another breath in, press that right heel back. With your breath out, draw the right knee forward, tap the right elbow. Inhale, draw on the belly, lift the, the knee just a little higher. And then with your exhale, we're going to sweep or windshield wipe the right knee across the chest to the left elbow. Again, draw on the belly button, lift that left knee just a little higher. And then sweep it back to the right elbow. Inhale, press the right heel back. Exhale, release the right knee to the mat. So these are the plank modifications that we're going to find later on. And know that you can always do this modified version in your tabletop. Switching to the other side, breathe in. Float the left heel up, flex the toes to the ground. Breathe out, reach the right arm forward this time. Again, thumb to the ceiling. Spinning the left inner thigh up towards the sky. Keeping the neck long. Gazing past your nose. Engaging our energy here, starting to fire it up. So squeeze in that low belly, that transverse abdominis, the muscle that stretches between your pelvic bones. That's going to help you move and help your alignment. One more breath in here. Breath out, keep the left leg lifted. Right hand comes to the mat. Inhale, press to that back wall. Exhale, left knee comes across, taps the left elbow. Squeeze the belly, lift it a little higher. And then sweep it over to the right elbow. Hold it, lift it. And then sweep it back to the left elbow. 
Press it back to the back wall. Good, go ahead and release that left knee to the mat. You can shift your hips. You can find a cat cow, any little movement that you need to take here. One more inhale. And then with your exhale, curling your toes under, lifting your tailbone to the sky, finding your first downward facing dog. In our first downward facing dog, we always want to check in with our alignment. So making sure your feet are just about hip width distance apart and there's a nice deep bend in your knees. The tailbone's the highest point on your body, so you find this in inverted V shape. Draw your belly button in, press your chest to your thighs, and press away from the mat so you're energetically lifting out of your shoulders. Shifting the weight back into your legs and heels, taking the crease out of your wrist. Any weight left in your hands is spread across all ten fingers. From here, you can start to shake your head, yes and no. Start to release some of that tension in your neck and shoulders. Maybe open your mouth really wide and stretch out your cheeks. Maybe wag your tail. And then with your next breath in, rise high into your toes. With your breath out, release the right heel to the mat. Nice deep bend in the left knee. Letting the right heel sink to the ground. Starting to open up in the back body. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, left heel drops, right knee bends. Let's go again, inhale, rise up. Exhale, right heel down, left knee bends. Inhale, lift. Exhale, left heel drops, right knee bends. This breath in rises as high as you can. And with your breath out, let both heels release a little closer to the mat. Move around, find any movement you need to take. And then pressing the left foot into the ground, inhale, float the right heel up, just to hip height. As you exhale, press your chest closer to your thigh. So just like in that tabletop, we're going to find that same variation here. So the right heel is in line with the right hip, and you're pressing to the back wall. Inhale, draw on your belly button. Exhale, draw the right knee forward. Tap the right elbow. Hold it here. Engage your core. Lift a little higher, and then sweep it across to the left elbow. Inhale, float it back to the right. Exhale, press it back. Release that right foot to the mat. We'll come into the other side. Press into the right foot. Inhale, left heel floats up, hip height. Exhale, sink into the heel. Press the chest to the thigh. Keep lifting out of your shoulders. Take a breath in. Breath out, pull forward. Tap the left elbow, hold it. Lift a little higher. Inhale, sweep it to the right. Exhale, stay here. Then with your next breath in, sweep it back to the left. Breath out, press to the back wall. Release the left foot to the mat, pedal it out. Find any little more movement here. And with your next breath in, rise high to your toes, bend your knees. Exhale, walk, step, jump. Find your way to the top of the mat with your toes together, leaving some distance in your heels. Inhale, lift up halfway. We're gonna take this first one slow. Press into the shins or the thighs. Exhale, lengthen through the spine, flatten your back. Work the shoulder blades together, draw the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, press away from your legs. Exhale, fold forward. Hinging the hips. Remember, when you're in a standing or seated forward fold, you want to make sure that fold is coming from your hips and you're not rounding into the low back. Knees stay soft, toes are spread, head hangs heavy. Draw the belly button in. We're going to start our sun A. Breath in, reach out, rise up, strong foundation into the mat. Your choice. You can swan dive or bring your hands through heart center. Either way, fold forward again. Inhale, lift up halfway, work the shoulder blades together. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, high plank, hold it here. Remember, your modification is knees down, feet lifted. Full plank, feet down, hips lifted. Either way, you're straight as a board. Your shoulders, hips, knees are in a line. Take a breath in, squeeze in that low belly. Breath out, press away from the mat. Tuck the tailbone just a tiny bit. Inhale here. And exhale to stay. So when you lower down through your push-up, by all means, drop the knees, take the modification. If you want the full high to low push-up, with your inhale, shift forward just a bit. Exhale, lower down halfway. So the arms bend to 90 degrees. Inhale, press up. If you're an upward facing dog, your thighs are lifted. Hold it here, work the shoulder blades back. One more breath in. And then breath out, downward facing dog. So that is your full Sun A with no modifications. Remember, you can always take the modified plank, take the modified push-up, 
You can skip the push-up altogether and just step right to your downward facing dog. Lots of choices. Inhale, rise high to your toes. Bend your knees. Exhale, walk to the front. Breathe in, lift up halfway, flatten your back. Breathe out, release forward. Start to feel some more opening, some heat in the back body. One breath per movement. Belly buttons in. Inhale, reach out, rise up, spread the toes. Exhale, fold forward, lead down with your heart. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Squeeze the elbows in regardless of your variation. Inhale, hearts up. Exhale, tailbone back. Rise to your toes. Bend your knees. Exhale to the front. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, release. Breath in, reach out, rise up, raise your side walls. Exhale, fold, your head comes down last. Inhale, halfway. Exhale through your vinyasa, however you come down, you're coming down as one unit, so your chest should not be dropping through your shoulders first. Inhale, cobra, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Rise high, bend your knees. Exhale to the front. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Again, breath in, reach out, rise up, gather your energy. Exhale, fold, start to let go of any stress and distraction. Inhale, halfway. Exhale through your vinyasa, your own pace, your own breath. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. Rise to your toes, bend your knees. Exhale, forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Again, breathe in, reach out, rise up, maybe close your eyes. Exhale, fold forward. Let this be your moving meditation. Inhale, lift. Exhale, through your vinyasa. Rise high again. Bend your knees. Exhale to the front. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Again, breathe in, reach out, rise up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, through your vinyasa. Back to down dog, however you want to get there. Rise to your toes, bend your knees. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Last round. Breath in, reach out, rise up, breathing the sun. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, through your vinyasa. We're going to meet in down dog and pause there. From here, paddle out your feet again, maybe wag your tail. Maybe see if the heels fall any closer to the mat now that you've warmed up a bit. And we're going to move on to a new sequence where we start to add in those knees to elbows. So remember, release into that modified version if you'd like to. Rise high to your toes, bend your knees, exhale to the front. Inhale, lift, exhale, fold here. From here, we're gonna start the next round with our Utkatasana or our chair pose. So again, toes together, distance in the heels, core engaged. Breathe in, reach out, rise up, arms are parallel this time. With your exhale, sink into that chair, weight into your heels. Make sure your toes are nice and light. Maybe you can even lift them up and wiggle them around a little bit. Squeeze that belly button in as you inhale. Exhale, maybe sink just a little bit deeper, sinking down and back. Shoulders are relaxed. Arm options, forward and energetic, or hands and heart center, your choice. After your exhale, press into your heels. Breathe in, reach up. Breathe out, fold forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, flow through it. Starting on the right side. Breathe in. This time with your inhale, float the right leg all the way up and open to where the ceiling and the wall meet. With your exhale, open through your hips. Take a peek under that right arm. Can you see your toes? Breathe in. Reach the right heel a little higher. With your breath out, if you'd like to bend that right knee, feel free to find some more opening in that right quad. From here, you can roll your ankles. You can spread your toes. Keep your chest square to the mat. This is a hip opener, not a chest opener. With your next inhale, reach the right leg long. Exhale, right knee draws forward. Tap the right elbow. 
Sweep the right knee over to the left elbow and then sweep it back. Inhale, right leg up and open. Exhale, step your right foot all the way through, all 10 toes to me. So setting up for your high lunge. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, sink into it. Remember your feet, they're not on a balance beam. They're about hip width distance apart. So to help with your balance and widen your stance, you can toe heel that right foot over. Spread all the toes on your right foot, really ground down into it. This back leg, I need a soft bend in that back knee to make sure that my tailbone is shooting right to the ground. You might, you might not. Your body, your practice. Pull the right hip back, let the left hip drive forward, inhale again. Exhale, maybe sink a little deeper. So it's early in the morning, right? So this quad and hip flexors are probably pretty tight. Relax your shoulders. And then a little upper body motion here. Take a breath in. And with your breath out, sweep the arms down and back. Reach the chest forward. One more inhale here. One more exhale. Breath in, sweep back up. Breath out, hands through heart center. Down to the mat, squeeze the belly in. With your inhale, step the right foot back. Try and step it back without scraping. Exhale, you can release down, maybe keep the foot lifted. Maybe not. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Other side, right foot presses into the ground. Inhale, left leg floats up. Exhale, open it up, left hip stacks on top of the right. Toes are flexed, make sure you can see them. Chest is square to the ground, breathe in again. Breathe out, bend the left knee, let the heel fall in. You can roll the ankle, spread the toes. And then inhale, reach the left leg long. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Breathe in, sweep it across. Exhale, sweep it back. Inhale, press to the sky. Exhale, step all the way through. Once again, all 10 toes to me. Start to sink through your hips. Inhale, rise. Exhale, find the high lunge, find your stance. Square your hips. You want to tilt that pelvis forward just a little bit. Pull in that low belly. It'll help get you there. Relax your shoulders. Remember your option is also here. Hands at heart center. If you want to move, inhale, sweep forward. Exhale, hold it. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, hands through heart center. Inhale, left foot steps back. Maybe it's lifted. Exhale, halfway down. Breathe in, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Breath here, just to pedal out. So the next two rounds, we're going to just add on to that sequence. Where we've been, we flow. One breath per movement. When we add on, we slow it down. Rise to your toes. Bend your knees. Exhale to the front. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, release. Let's do it. Inhale, reach out, rise up, parallel arms. Exhale, sink back into that chair. We're not staying. Inhale, use your muscles to rise. Maybe a back bend this time. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, through your vinyasa. Now you know adding on means adding on to those plank variations too, right? Inhale, right leg up and open. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Sweep it left and back to right. Again, sweep it left. And back to right, very nice. Inhale, right leg back. Exhale, step through. Inhale, rise, high lunge. Exhale, sweep forward. Inhale, rise up again. This time, exhale, warrior two. So peel open, left foot's parallel to the back of the mat. Right heel is pressing to that left arch. Now, remember, we're going for a 90 degree bend in this front leg. Just a reminder, this is the wonky knee. So. Do as I say, don't do as I do. Inhale, draw your belly button in. Exhale, sink equally through both hips. Pull the right knee open. Tailbone shoots right to the mat. And relax your shoulders. From here, flip the right palm up. Inhale, reverse, hold your reverse. Exhale, left arm floats above that left knee. Maybe it wraps behind your back. Either way, we just don't want to collapse into the left side. It's this right side that we're lifting up and out of. What's holding you there? Your core and pulling up on that pelvic floor. Inhale, reach a little higher. Exhale, cartwheel through, right hand down. Left hand follows, draw on the belly so you can shoot that right foot back without scraping. Exhale, high to low. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. 
Other side, inhale, left leg up and open. Exhale, knee to elbow. Breathe in, sweep it right. Breathe out, back to the left. Again, inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale, left leg back. Exhale all the way through. Inhale, rise up, sink your hips. Exhale, sweep forward. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, open up, warrior two. So same thing, right foot's parallel, left knee opens up, inhale. Exhale, sink into that lunge. Find this strong foundation. Ground down through your feet. Shoot the tailbone down to the mat. And your arms are active. So imagine there's two beams of light shooting up from the ground and you're pressing them back in. So your arm muscles are engaged. You're focused. Finding that stretchy. And flipping the left palm up. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, sink back to the lunge if you lost it. Open through the left side. Breathe in, reach. Breathe out, cartwheel through. Inhale, up, hearts up. Exhale, tailbone back. Rise high, bend your knees. Exhale to the front. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Breathe in, reach out, rise up. Exhale, into your chair, weight in the heels. Inhale, up. Exhale, forward. Breathe in, halfway. Breathe out. Through your vinyasa. Next inhale, right legs up and open. Exhale, knee to elbow. We got three. Sweep to the left, back to the right. Over to the left, back to the right. One more, you got it. Over to the left, back to the right. Inhale, right leg up and open. Exhale, all the way through. Inhale, rise. Exhale, sweep forward. Inhale, reach. Exhale, open. We add the extended side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, this time, right forearm, right thigh, left arm to the sky. Again, back to the lunge, sink the hips. Use this elbow, or this forearm as leverage to work your chest open, but there's very little weight in it. Again, core is keeping you lifted. Fingertips reach to the sky, inhale. Exhale, left hand to the mat. Right hand follows, breathe in, right foot back. Breathe out, high to low. Other side, inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left elbow. Sweep it right, and back to the left. Over to the right, and back to the left. One more time, to the right, and to the left. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale through. Inhale, rise, sweep the hips. Exhale, sweep, airplane arms. Inhale, up. Exhale, open, warrior two. Left palm flips up. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, left forearm, left thigh. Right arm to the sky. Chest is open, shoulder blades are working together. You're nice and long through the spine. Inhale. Exhale, right hand down to the mat. Left hand follows. Left foot comes back. High to low. Rise up, bend your knees, exhale to the front. Inhale, half, exhale, fold. One more round here. Breath in, reach out, rise up. Breath out, sink deep. Inhale, lift, exhale, forward. We're gonna add in a couple things here, so listen to your cues. Halfway lift, through your vinyasa. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to elbow. Sweep it left, back to the right. Sweep it left, back to the right. This time, sweep it to the left, hold it here, and then kick that right foot out. We're gonna come into our front fallen triangle. So you're on the outside edge of that right foot. Roll to the inside edge of the left foot. Peel the left arm to the sky, and reach through your hips. Inhale here, exhale to stay. One more breath in. Breath out, left hand comes down to the mat, come back to the ball of that back foot. Inhale, squeeze the belly, get the knee into the chest. Exhale, reach back, up and open. Breathe in, breathe out, step through. Inhale, rise. Exhale, sweep forward. Now listen, we're going to move around on the mat. 
Inhale, lift up and open up, five-pointed star. So you can exhale and take your warrior two to your back wall. Left palm flips up, inhale, reverse. Exhale, either your modified extended side angle, or if you're ready for your full extended side angle, you can use the block underneath this left hand, or it can be right down to the mat. Inhale, reach, right hand overhead, and then exhale, hands to the mat. You're gonna cartwheel through on the bottom, low lunge here on your inhale, so you're back to the front. Exhale, right foot back, high to low. Inhale up, exhale down dog, other side. Inhale, left leg up, exhale, left elbow. Sweep it right, and back to the left. Sweep it right, and left. This time, sweep it over to the right, and then with your exhale, kick that left foot out, Roll to the inside of the right foot, lift the hips, peel the arm up to the sky. This right shoulder stays over, or excuse me, left shoulder stays over the left wrist. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, right hand down. Squeeze the belly, get the knee into the chest, and then shoot it up and open. Inhale here. Exhale, step through. Breathe in, rise. Breathe out, sweep forward. Inhale, lift up again, opening up this time, five-pointed star, toes out. Exhale, warrior two to your back wall. Sink into it. Flip the right palms up. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, modify or full extended side angle. Again, if you're using that block, any height. Pull the tailbone under. Inhale. Exhale, sweep the left arm forward. Long line of energy. One more breath in here. Breath out, release the hands down. Walk them along the mat. Low lunge to the front wall. Inhale. Exhale, left foot back through your vinyasa. Remember, you always have the option of the modification or skipping the push-up all together. Rise high, bend your knees, exhale to the front. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward here. You can totally your feet about hip width distance apart. Keep a soft bend in your knees. Again, folding at the hips, chest coming into your thighs. You can grab opposite elbows. If your wrists need a break, slide your hands underneath your feet, stretch them out. But just let your head hang heavy. And just a reminder, because I didn't give it to you at the beginning, as you can tell, I don't really cue child's pose in a power hour. But again, you are welcome to find it anytime you'd like. One more breath in here. One more breath out. We're going to move on to a different, shorter sequence. Same basics, a couple different elements, just to work towards our peak pose. So if your feet are apart, bring your toes back together, draw the belly button in. Inhale, reach out, rise up. No Bukutasana this time. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, through your vinyasa. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right knee forward. Couple rounds. Sweep it left and back to the right. Over to the left, just moving that leg. Over to the right, one more time. Left and right. Inhale, over to the left. Exhale, kick that right leg out. Roll to the inside of the left foot. Lift the hips. Left arm to the sky. So you can stay here. You want to take it a little further? Challenge your core a little bit more. Let's see if I can make this happen this early on a Saturday. Draw the belly button in. Inhale, exhale. Ooh. Lift that right leg up. This is all on your core. Good, one breath in and one breath out. Release the right foot. Release the left hand. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, right foot steps through. This time, release the left knee to the mat. Flatten the left foot. Let's find a little bit of a lunge here, getting into the hips a little bit more. Keep the knee tracking over the ankle. Sink the hips forward and down. Then with your inhale, rising up, sweeping your arms up to the sky. Exhale, releasing your hands behind your back. Interlacing your fingers. If this is not accessible to you, just grab the bottom of your shirt. If you have a strap handy, you can use your strap too. Either way, let's find a little chest opening. Draw the shoulder blades together. Reach the knuckles towards the ground. Lift through your heart for your breath in and your breath out. This inhale, sweep the arms back up. Exhale, release your hands to the mat. Curl the toes under. Pick up that back knee. We're going to find some side lunges here. 
So walk your hands to the inside of the right foot and then pivot. So now you're on the long side of your mat. Your weight's going to stay in that right heel. Your hip is sinking back towards that back wall. So the knee is staying over the ankle. If you'd like to bring your hands to heart center, inhale. Exhale, lift up and open. Over to the left. Same thing. You're going to sink the weight in this back heel. So this tailbone is shooting right behind you. Hold it here. Then with your inhale, lift up. Exhale, back to the right. One more breath in. And one more breath out. Nice. Release your hands to the mat. Pivot to the front. We're going to find our balancing pose here, our airplane. So ground down through the right foot. Use your core. Inhale, step into this right foot. Exhale, float up. So difference between airplane and warrior three. In airplane, your heart is higher than your heel. So you're in this diagonal. Hands behind you, chest open. One more breath in. One more breath out. Bring the hands to heart center. Release them to the mat. Reach the left leg up. Little standing split. And then release it down to the ground. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold forward. We're coming to the other side from the top. Inhale, reach out, rise up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, through your vinyasa. Inhale, left leg up and over. I'm going to switch sides. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Sweep it to the right and back to the left. Sweep it right and back to the left. One more time. Sweep it right and back to the left. This time, inhale over to the right elbow. Exhale, left foot comes down. Peel open. Find your fallen triangle. Stay here. It's a lot. For more, squeeze in the belly and every side could be different. Exhale, if you can, float that left leg up. One more breath in, hold it, squeeze. Breath out, good. Release the foot down, release the hand. Inhale, left leg sweeps back, up and open. Exhale, step through. Release the right knee. Maybe flatten the foot, sink down through the hips. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands sweep behind your back, interlacing your fingers again. Grabbing your shirt, your towel, anything you need, sink down. Lift your chest. Pull in that low belly so you don't want to completely dump into the pelvis. You're still staying lifted. And then after this exhale, sweep the arms back up and release them down to the mat. Pick up that back knee. Set up for your airplane. Spread your toes. Inhale. This left knee stays soft. Exhale. Taking flight. You can flex your toes. Lean forward. Arms sweeping behind you like wings. Focus on your breath. Stay lifted. One more inhale here. One more exhale. Releasing your hands down to the mat, right leg up to the sky. Inhale up and open. Exhale, right foot releases to the left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold again. Once again, feet about hip width distance apart. You can come into your same variations, ragdoll, gorilla, you can grab your big toes with your thumb and your peace fingers, letting your head hang heavy. Really, it's up to you. Just give yourself a breath here. We have one more standing sequence. And then we will make our way down to the mat. So after this exhale, release your feet, your elbows, whatever you're holding on to, bringing your toes back together. So now we're putting all of those elements together. So this is like a dance, right? We say it's like a moving meditation. We're putting all the choreographed pieces together for one final flow. Just listen to your cues and take whatever modifications you need. Belly in. Inhale, reach out, rise up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, through your vinyasa. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. Breathe in, right leg up and open. Breathe out, right knee, right elbow. Sweep it to the left, back to the right. That's one. Left, right for two. Left, right for three. Left, right for four. One more. Left, right for five. Nice. Inhale, sweep it left. Exhale, kick the right leg out. Peel open. Stay here. If you want to float that right foot up for the most, tap it down. One, two, 
Three, you got it. Four, one more. Five, very nice. Release it down, left hand down, right leg up and back. Inhale. Exhale, step through. I forgot. See, this is live TV. Three legged down dog. One more time. Inhale, either stay here. Exhale, maybe bend your knee. Let that heel fall over. This is what we've been working towards, and I almost forgot it. If you want more, if you want to flip over into your wild thing, start to spin on that left foot. Let your weight carry you all the way over. Right knee bends. Left leg is long. Your left shoulder is over your left wrist. Right arm reaches to the sky. Maybe reach it overhead. Make this a, back, a chest opener or a back bend. But either way, lift through your hips. Lots of energy. One more breath in. And one more breath out. Inhale your right hand back to the sky. Exhale, come back over. Right leg reaches up. Now with your exhale, step all the way through. Inhale, rise. Exhale into your full airplane. Sweep up. Inhale, back through your high lunge. Exhale, open through five-pointed star. And then back to your warrior two to the back wall. Left palm flips up. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, your full extended side angle, however that looks for you. And releasing the hands down alongside the back. Side lunge to the right. Inhale, lift up and over. Over to the left. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. Remember your weight's in your heels. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. Just about a 90 degree bend in that left leg, or at either leg that's bent. Over to the right. And back to the left. Two more rounds. Right. Left. You got it. Right. Left. This time we're going to come over to the right. Hold it here. Then release the hands down to the mat. If you want to come into your skandasana, your side lunge. Again, this is the side that's a little bit more of a challenge for me. So maybe this is where you're at. Maybe your bum's not too close to the ground. You can still challenge your balance here. You can still find that nice stretch in that inner thigh. And then when you're ready, we're going to tip it back to the front wall. Inhale, draw in the belly, reach the right leg back. We're going to come through those plank variations one more time. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Sweep it left and right. Left and right. I know we already did this. Left and right. You'll thank me later. Left and right. One more time. Left and right. Good. Inhale, right leg back to the sky. Exhale, release it to the mat. Take a breath in. Pull forward. High plank. Breath out. Hold it here. You got three. Straight as a board, whether you're in the full plank or the modification. Inhale, draw on the belly. Exhale, press away from the mat. One more breath in. One more breath out. Shift forward. High to low push up. Come through your vinyasa. Meet in down dog. We have one more side. Inhale, left leg up and open. Exhale, knee to elbow. Sweep it right and back to the left. Right and left. Right and left. One more time. Right and left. Good. Inhale, sweep it right. Exhale, kick it through. Sorry, I should have flipped sides. Into your fallen triangle. Squeeze the belly. Float that left foot up if you'd like. If you want, we got five. One. Tap down. Two. Three. Four. One more. Five. Good. Release the hand to the mat. Inhale, left leg up and open. Exhale, either just bend the knee, or if you'd like to come all the way over. Wild thing, right leg straight, left leg is bent. Right shoulder over right wrist. Left arm to the sky, hips are lifted. Maybe reach it overhead, breathe. Lift your heart. Lift through your hips. A little bit of gratitude here, maybe take your hand onto your heart, just to be thankful that you were able to make it onto the mat today, or tomorrow whenever you're taking this class. Inhale, left arm back up. Exhale, back down, left leg to the sky. And step through. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, sweep forward, airplane. Woo. Balance is different on every side, right? Inhale, release. Open up, five-pointed star. Exhale, warrior two to the back. Right palm flips up, reverse. Exhale. Side angle. 
Sweep the arms along the mat. Start with your skandasana or your side, excuse me, side lunge on this side. So again, now you can see what I mean. Hips are down and back. Hands at heart center. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, right. Inhale, up. Exhale, left. Inhale, up. Exhale, right. Working the hips, the glutes, over to the left. Lift up. Exhale, right. Two more rounds. Left. And right. Last round. Left. And right. Good. This time, coming into the left side, stand off so that you can release the hands to the mat. If you want to release all the way down, so you can do it on this side. You can lift your chest up to work your balance. You can keep your hands down on the mat to really sink into that lunge. And if you're not all the way down, you saw me on the other side, it's totally fine. You can still find that deep side stretch by lifting your hips just a little further. After this exhale, pivot to the front of the mat, squeeze the belly in, inhale, left leg up to the sky, one more round, exhale, left knee, left elbow, sweep it right, and left, and right, and left, right, and left, two more, right, and left, last one, right, and left, inhale, left leg up and open, Exhale, release it to the mat. Take a breath in, pull forward, high plank. Breath out, hold it here again. If you want to release your knees, come into the modification, totally fine. If you want to find your child's pose, that's okay with me too. One more breath in here. And one more breath out. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, come through your vinyasa. And meet up in downward facing dog. Nice work in your down dog. Huddle your feet, wag your tail. One more breath in here. And one more breath out. Rise high to your toes, bend your knees. Exhale to the front. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. We're gonna make our way onto the mat, coming through our hips first, but of course, you know the roll. We gotta work to get there. One more Sunday. Belly button in, inhale, reach out, rise up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, through your pinyasa. One breath in your down dog. One breath out. From here, we come into some mountain climbers. So with your inhale, shift forward. Exhale, to high plank. We're not going to run through them. We're going to focus and go slow. So first, it's Right knee to right elbow, left knee to right elbow. So starting on your right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pick up the pace. One, two, three, four. Strong belly. Five, six, seven, eight. Hold it to your high plank. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. We're going to come through it one more time. Knees to opposite elbows this time. Okay, inhale, down dog, exhale, high plank. Starting on the right, right knee, left elbow, let's do it. Inhale, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, double time. One, two, three, four, squeeze the belly, five, six, seven, eight, good. Inhale, high plank, exhale, down dog, Breath in, right leg up and open. Breath out, right knee to the inside of that right wrist. Release it to the mat. Slide the left leg back, flat the foot. Just try and square your hips. If you feel like you're crashing over to the right, use a block, a pillow, anything to lift that right hip up. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, stay here if this is a whole lot. Maybe come down to your forearms, the block, or all the way down to the mat. Sorry, just trying to check my, check my timing here. So sinking into your hips, releasing a little bit more on every exhale. Slow your breath down. Find your focus. Maybe come back to that intention 
that you set at the beginning of your practice. Focusing on sharing all that good energy that you've built up. Things are weird, right? So I think the more positive, uplifting energy that we can put out, even just from our homes, from our mats, the better off we'll all be. Just a few more rounds of breath here. One last inhale. One last exhale, letting go as much as you can. And lifting your chest up, walking your hands in, curling the left toes under. Breathe in, right legs up and open. Breathe out, shake it out. Bend your knee, roll your ankles. Any little movement you need to take here. Then release the right foot down. We're gonna come through that whole set one more time. Then I promise we're on the mat. Pull forward to your high plank. We have, um, you know, knees to the same elbows this time. Pull in your belly button. We start on the left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. High plank. Inhale. Exhale. Down dog. And giving you the rest so you don't sacrifice your form so you can come back into it just as strong as you left it. This time, knees to opposite elbows, and then we're down. Pull forward, again, starting on the left. One, two, three, four, twisting at the hips. Five, six, seven, eight, double time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Breathe in, left leg up and open. Breathe out, left knee to the inside of the left wrist. Sink your hips, slide that right leg back. Acknowledge, this side might feel different, better or worse, it's all okay. Use the block if you need it. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, come down if you can to the forearms, the block, or the mat. You know, we really appreciate you guys showing up here for us again once on the mat. And I think, at least I've realized, I'm gonna take a chance and speak for the other teachers here that, you know, this connection that we've built with you guys is really important to us. It's part of why we love teaching. You know, I'll never forget from my teacher training, our instructor told us that once you become a teacher, you're never a student again. And it's true. It's hard to be in a practice anywhere and not think, Oh, that's an interesting cue. I like that sequence. I can remember that for later. Why did she do that? Was that safe? You know, so we started teaching because we love yoga, but I think we keep teaching because we love the connection that we've built with our students. So, you know, the shout outs that we've gotten from you guys on social media, the emails, the texts, they've truly gotten us through this. So if there's anything that you want to see, any kind of practice, anything that you have a question about, Please, that's what we're here for. That's why we do this. Reach out to us anytime. Okay. You guys know I can ram with your hips like nobody's business. So let's take one more deep breath in. Fill all the way up. And one more full breath out. Let go. With your next inhale, lift your chest up. Walk your hands in. Curl the right toes under. Take a breath in. Lift that left leg up and open. Breath out. Shake it out. Well, your ankle, bend your knee, anything else you need to take, take it now. Release the left foot to the mat. This is going to be your final downward facing dog. So anything else you need here, pedal your feet, wag your tail, press your chest to your thighs, shake your head yes and no. Maybe really open your mouth, stretch out your cheeks, release that jaw. And then come down through your knees, sitting back on your bum. We're going to come right onto the mat, since we did a lot a forward fold. Sorry, again, try and be mindful of the time because I can talk forever and just keep adding on. Okay, let's come onto our backs. Have your block handy for your bridge if you'd like. We're not going to go there yet. A little bit more core work. So, feet are on the mat, knees are bent, interlace your hands behind your head, 
Elbows open wide, draw the belly button in, inhale, exhale, lift it up. One, two, chin up, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, elbows wide, five, four, three, two, one more, hold it up, pulse, one, two, squeeze the belly, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hold it up, squeeze, take a deep breath in, breath out, release it onto the mat for your bridge. If you like the block, the supported bridge, grab it, slide it underneath your low back at any height, keep your arms down by your sides. If you prefer the full bridge, starting with your arms down by your sides, Making sure your heels are pulled in, take a breath in, fill up your belly. With your breath out, press through the heels, lift your hips. If you're ready to interlace your hands underneath your low back, by all means, go for it. And then maybe roll your shoulders under, pressing your pinkies into the mat. Wherever you are, pretend there's a block between your legs. So you're isometrically squeezing your legs together, activating that inner thigh, but your knees are not touching. Your glutes are engaged to stabilize your hips. You're pressing into your heels to fire up through your quads so the whole posterior chain is working. Breathing, feeling that balloon fill up again. Maybe lifting your hips a little higher, maybe shifting a tiny bit more weight into the shoulders to deepen into the back bend. One more inhale here, fill up as much as you can. With your exhale, either release your hands, remove your block, roll down nice and slow. Windshield wipe your knees. Don't get ahead of me in your Supta Konasana. This time, lifting the legs up, they're bent to 90 degrees, calves are parallel to the mat. Hands behind your head again, draw the belly button, inhale, exhale, crunch it up. One, two, shoulders lift, three, four, if you need your feet down again, that's totally fine. Seven, eight, nine, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, squeeze, five, six, five, four, three, Two, one, up and pulse. One, two, three, four, press the tailbone into the mat. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Release down, feet down once again. If you'd like to windshield wipe your knees, you can. And then now, so the feet together, knees falling open, arms either down by your sides, up and overhead. Or maybe it's one hand on your belly, feeling your breath, recognizing you are alive and you are here. And you are moving, one hand on your heart, being grateful that you are alive and you are here and you are moving. Just taking a moment, recognizing how the mat supports you. And then after your exhale, drawing the knees together, pulling them into your chest, grabbing the outsides of your feet, letting your knees open wider than your hips, your feet stack over your knees. Take a breath in, press your feet into your hands. With your breath out, pull your knees into your chest. And then when you can't pull them in any closer, you can start to rock back and forth for your happy baby. Then coming to a rest at center, releasing your feet, extending your legs up to the sky, finding your inversion, maybe having your block underneath your hips. Maybe your tailbone's on the mat. We don't have much time to stay here. But I would encourage you to find this pose again later on at home. Maybe it's at the end of the evening if you're reading or just watching TV. You can do it in bed with your legs up uh, on the headboard or the wall. You can do it on the floor, anywhere. Really important restorative pose. So we're going to move on, but again, I encourage you to do this later. Removing the block if you have it. Squeezing your knees into your chest. Rolling around in a circle. One direction, then the other. Then releasing your knees over to the right. One more round of core, and then we're almost done. Hands behind your head. Let's get into the oblique. Squeeze the belly in. Inhale, exhale, lift up. One, two, three, four. Get the right shoulder up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Hold it up. Pulse. 1, 
two, squeeze, three, four, elbows wide, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Release it onto the mat, releasing your arms to a T, dropping your gaze over to the left, trying to work the sh left shoulder blade into the mat. Maybe taking the right hand to the outside of the left knee, deepening the twist just for a moment. Then after this exhale, coming back through center. Taking your knees over to the left this time, this is it. <clears throat> Last bit of work and you are in and absorbing all that hard work that you just did. Elbows wide, belly button draws in. Let's do it, inhale, exhale, one, two, three, four. Lift with your belly, not your neck. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, chin up, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, hold it up, pulse, one, two, squeeze, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, nice work, release onto the mat, arms to a T, gaze to the right, try to press that right shoulder blade into the mat, if it's into the ground, maybe deep in the twist, grab the right knee. Allow yourself to ring out. And as you move on with the rest of your day, think about all the work that you put into your body and how your work on the mat carries you through your day with the breath and the focus. So coming back through center, one more time, hug your knees into your chest. This time, curling into a tight, tiny little ball, wrapping your arms around the shins, pulling your knees into your nose, maybe lifting the tailbone and the shoulders up. Point your toes, scrunch up your face, tense up your entire body, squeeze every muscle as hard as you can. If there's any, anything else, any one more thing that you don't want anymore, that is no longer serving you, that you need to leave on this mat, think about it. Draw it to the surface, squeeze it, squeeze it while you're squeezing your muscles. Take a deep breath in and let it go. Release your legs onto the mat, your feet falling open to the sides, your arms float away from your body with your palms facing the ceiling and your fingertips curling in. Maybe close your eyes. Allow your body to absorb your practice. Now I know, especially at home, it's hard to stay in Shavasana. So just take a moment. Just take a beat, a breath. Take this opportunity maybe to count your blessings. Sometimes in strange times like this, it's hard to think about what they could be. But like I said before, you're here, you're breathing, you're moving. That's a lot to be thankful for. You can slowly start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Maybe take your arms overhead for another stretch, maybe rolling to one side, the other side, just allowing your body to absorb your practice, allowing any excess energy to spill into the mat. And then from here, slowly making your way up into a comfortable cross-legged seat, Bringing your hands to heart center, closing your eyes. Floating your thumbs to your third eye, your center of intuition. If you can dream it with intention, you can do it. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Thanks for joining us. Namaste. All right, great job, everybody. Like I said, give us a shout out, um, email, social media, text, if there's anything that you're looking for. We really appreciate you guys 
that you keep showing up for us. So you keep showing up, we're gonna keep showing up, and before we know it, we will all be uh, back in this space together. Have a great weekend, we'll see you soon.